This is a short practical session about using the web application Cinema to evaluate the impact of study limitations in the results of network meta-analysis. We start by uploading the data. We go to My Projects tab, where we are asked to upload a CSV file. We will be using the data from Elliot 2007, where the incidence of diabetes is compared for different antihypertensives. The data format is simple. All you need is a CSV file with one entry per study arm. Columns pertain to study ID, the names of the treatments, the outcome data. Here we have a dichotomous outcome, so entries are number of events and number of randomized patients and the study level risk of bias. Here one means low risk of bias, two means unclear risk of bias, and three means high risk of bias. Other data formats, like one study per row instead of one arm per row, are also possible. We will upload the data and Cinema tells me that we have 22 studies, 6 interventions, and 14 comparisons. In the General tab, we can find the network plot. We modify the plot to show the distribution of the risk of bias and the amount of data. Let us color the nodes according to the risk of bias. Put the edges proportional to the sample size of the studies examining each comparison. And then, let us summarize and plot the risk of bias in each comparison according to the study with the highest risk of bias. By selecting a comparison, we can see the studies providing direct evidence. For example, by selecting the edge between beta blockers and diuretics, we can see that there are two studies for this comparison. One at low risk of bias and one at high risk of bias. Because we chose the option highest risk of bias before, the edge has been colored red. I will also add this choice here to be taken forward in my risk of bias evaluations. Then we need to provide some basic information about how we want the data to be analyzed. I will choose random effects model and the odds ratio. Finally, we need to select the treatments and comparisons we plan to evaluate. This can be, for example, all treatment comparisons or only the comparisons against ACE. I will select to evaluate all comparisons between active interventions. That is, we will leave out placebo. Then, we set up the evaluation. Cinema runs network meta-analysis and calculates the contribution matrix. Note that the selection of treatments and comparisons impacts only on the presentation of the results. Network meta-analysis is estimated using all the studies, but only the results about the comparisons you selected are shown from now on. Now the contribution matrix is calculated and you can download it if you want. If we go now to the study limitations tab, the contribution bar plot is already there. Then judgments about study limitations in each comparison could be made by selecting a rule to summarize each bar. For example, we can take the average study limitations for each bar. Then Cinema shows the final study limitations for each network odds ratio. For each comparison, we see whether the evidence is mixed or indirect, the study limitations with different rules, and the study limitations with the rule we choose. If for some reason you want to change your final judgment, this is possible and you can do this manually.